Greetings everybody, this is Dave Matuzic from MacDAC Engineering and I have a new tech tip for you guys here. I'm in here in Mastercam 2018 which currently is the latest version of Mastercam and I want to show you some new and interesting things about 3D surface selection in the new version of Mastercam here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do some finishing here but I have a couple challenges on this part. One of my main challenges here are these colored areas, this lighter blue area with the uh, pinkest around the outside here, and this green area in here, I'm going to cut with an electrode. Now, when doing this, I want to leave some stock there for the electrode to remove, but I don't want to leave all the stock left over from the roughing tool path, because if I did that, it would just take too long and just too much time burning with that electrode. So what I would do in the past is do a separate finish operation in those areas that has some stock to leave, but finish everything else I could with the standard end mill. I don't actually don't have to do that anymore. So let me just show you some of these new features in my surface selection. So I'm going to do a 3D raster tool path, and it brings me to this model geometry page. Now I have machining geometry and avoidance geometry. And that's just the same as your drive surfaces and your check surfaces, for those of you guys who have used an earlier version. It's the same thing. You'll also notice here that when I went in here, actually I'll do it again, here's my surfaces, my are colored here, and I'm going to go to raster. Everything appeared to turn white. And there's, there's a reason for that. little button down here says display remainder, and if I uncheck that and check that on, it shows me what I haven't selected for anything yet and also things are color coded. So check this out. See this is green here and it says machining. I actually rename this to uh, cut to size. And I'm going to pick some geometry to put in there. So I'm just going to click on my selection button here and I'm going to pick everything that is this orange color. Now you might have noticed something before here. This is actually a solid model. But I did not have to hit the Activate Solid Selection button. Because in Mastercam 2018, it's going to treat solid faces as surfaces. Really cool advantage that one little click kind of saves you a lot of confusion. Now let me come in here, and I'm going to grab another group of surfaces that I'm going to have a different amount of stock to leave on. So I'm going to create a new group of surfaces here under my machining geometry. And I'm going to say this is, I'll leave 5 thou on that. So I'm just naming it that. And on my wall stock here, I'm going to say 5 thou. And on my floor stock, I'm also going to say 5 thou. And this is selected, and I'm going to hit my Select Entities button here. And I'm going to go to my color selection. And that is, well, gee, I don't remember what color I wanted to pick here. Not a big deal. I'm just going to come out of here and hit escape once. I'm just going to go in here and turn this display remainder button on and off here again. And I can see what color things are. So I want to pick these surfaces in here. So I'm going to go to select. And I'm going to pick my color, and I'm going to pick these two colors. I might even change the color in here to be a different color, so I can see that in my list here. So when I'm in here, depending on what I click on, I can see what's going on. And I'm going to make one more group here. You know, like 10 here. And I'm going to come in and just pick those surfaces, those faces, I should say, that are in there. Okay, and now I'm actually just going to pick some avoidance geometry. So I'm going to come here to avoidance, and I'm just going to select everything that is this dark blue color. And I'll tell it, you know what, on these surfaces here, to stay away from those by about five. I, just because I don't want to cut them. And then I can set up all my other parameters as I normally would. And here we go with the toolpath cutting my piece here. I got a nice, smooth toolpath. 
and in the areas where I told it to leave the different stocked leaves, it blends pretty smoothly into those areas. As you can see, with the proper stock to leave. And actually, let me just show you how that works there in the verify. So I'm just going to verify this and do a model compare. So you can see here in my model compare that everything's cut to uh, my green material condition, which is I set to plus minus two. And anything with more stock to leave than two thousandths, I have that light blue color. So you can see that I left stock in those areas even though the whole complete finish pass was cutting that part. So that's just a cool little feature that was added into Mastercam 2018 and a couple of changes in surface selection. Thanks everybody and have a great day.